Hello, my loves. I'm Rena Wells, and I'm here to do your reading today for Soulmates in, in Separation and, um, <coughs> excuse me, Twin Flames and whoever you're thinking of. Um, whoever has a significant uh, connection with you. So I'm just going to fix, just make sure that's straight. And let's get started, you guys. <coughs> Don't mind my coughing. Uh, a lot of talking tends to bring up the cough but I am doing much better. Let's take a look. Spirit is saying we're gonna take a look at Divine Masculine Energies right now and where they are in the collective. If you guys wanna work more with me, all the info is down below. <sighs> Let's get started. We're gonna shuffle a little differently today too. Spirit is guiding me a little bit different today. And make sure you like and subscribe because I am going to be putting out a reading in regards to the full moon in Scorpio tonight, which is the pink moon. So we're going to be doing that as well. Thank you. Spirit is saying we're going to take a look and see where Divine Masculine currently <laughs> is at. Sorry, guys. Let me take a sip of water. Okay. We're going to take the bottom first. We have the three of pentacles in reverse, okay? Six of pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. <coughs> Three of Swords. Okay. What's happening here is Spirit is like telling me a contract is currently being ended. Okay. They are not giving to a certain situation anymore. They are no longer vesting, no longer waiting, and it's causing a lot of pain. Okay. So uh, let's clarify with the top of the deck here. We have the Prince of Swords. Okay, which is the Knight of Swords. Some communication came in. Two cups in reverse. The uh, do 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 do. Whew. The alien is the Hermit, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, so let me just make sure this is the alien. The Nine. Hold on, I'm gonna pause that. I don't use this deck very often, but I'm pretty sure that is the Hermit. I just wanna double check, hold on, I'm gonna pause. Yep, yeah, it's the Hermit. So what I'm seeing here, this, uh, and I'm feeling it's more with karmic energies, there has been a rush, a surprise type of uh, conversation that may have happened, a form of communication about ending a contract, about ending a soul contract, ending third party situations. There's also a relationship that has ended that's masculine is feeling deeply in their heart space to close off um, any cycles here, but they're not giving to certain situations anymore. Something's not reciprocal. In their actions, their intentions, they're no longer investing and they've pulled their energy back from what they may have been investing in the past. What's happening is it's, ca it's causing a lot of pain and betrayal here. So I'm feeling like the masculines are really waking up. I've been feeling this a lot. I've been seeing it in my clients, guys. Uh, we're preparing for the new earth that is getting ready to manifest let's see overall energy spirit give me one card for an overall energy for the masculines right now six of swords look at that they are definitely moving on to a new vibration so this masculine's current energy is that <coughs> yeah they're currently um we're gonna use this deck here they're currently not giving to old patterns anymore they're letting go of what the old vibration was completely all about. We're going to pull some of these cards, the star seed cards. I want to see where else the masculine is currently at spirit. Yeah. Well, Gaia and Patience came out. So I wasn't ready for those, but let's see. Can So their headspace right now is they've had some abrupt conversation. They've, they've quickly surprised. I feel it was a surprise um, about ending a certain connection, a contract here. They've gone through a place of inner alchemy in their heart. They know that they're ending a relationship. Okay. They're not giving to us a, a situation anymore. They know that they're a channel. They're feeling something happening in their energy systems. These masculines are going through um, a deep intuitive uh, spirit is bringing in a healing. Uh, their energy systems are coming online. You are a channel through which healing energy reaches the world. They're starting to actually accept that they are healers up for the new earth. These masculines are becoming aware of the inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So these masculines are realizing what's happening in their world to become uh, magicians in the 3D world. 
Um, they're no longer investing. They pulled their energy back from something. This is the transition piece that I just did in the channel so, uh, teachings that came through. This is because they want to celebrate. Celebrate your achievements and you truly are a gift to the universe. Oh, I'm getting this masculine is very proud of himself. You know, he's finally no longer investing and he's been able to pull away from the karmic energy. And even if they may be in the same house together, is what I'm seeing. Some of you guys, they're still in the same house. They're still kind of dealing with maybe children or finances. It's pretty much done. They're they're feeling very celebratory, uh, even though that there's a lot of betrayal um, and heartbreak that's happening. They're being still with this. Reflect on the moment of love and kindness and compassion. So they're really exercising unconditional love and the overall energy spirit. Gaia came out again for healing of planet Earth, guys. <clears throat> Listen, if your spiritual leaders are not here to help the planet and humanity then i don't know what they're doing like i was just saying this to a dear friend of mine i don't hear any of these world new age people i mean i would love you to hear your guys comments on this because i'm not hearing anybody really in the new age community really talking about what's happening on our planet like we're going through massive breakdown guys and so the real healers are, are being called to rise up in this. Mother Earth, connect to the pulse of Mother Earth. She will guide you through this time of change. This masculine knows that Earth is calling him, okay? Knows that humanity is calling. Knows that this is something big that he has to close off this cycle right now. So let's take a look about what was communicated here. Ha! <laughs> Ace of Wands, feeling this divine feminine energy, knowing that they have to... They're feeling a lot of sexual passion here right now, but they've communicated something very passionately to close off a cycle. They've made a decision, two of wands in reverse. They've made a decision that they're not working on something anymore, seven of wands. They're letting their guard down. Maybe they were defending a certain connection before. They're no longer defending that anymore. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with karmic energies, but they're definitely ending a relationship here. They're not giving to the situation anymore. They're single, nine of pentacles. Look at that, guys. They are single. They have ended this relationship, okay? Um, well, that just came out. They know they're the channel for healing. Look at this. Rising is the divine masculine. He's having some regret here, okay? Some, like, depression about what he may have lost, but that's a normal grieving process, right? We have to clear that. We have to realize that that's the place where, <coughs> excuse me, that we weren't loving ourselves, that it's time to be single and rise and take control of our life here and be that divine masculine they're celebrating and their actions right now they know they feel really good because they know that they can finally come forward they're being offered by spirit what spirit's offering them a new beginning is what i'm seeing for these divine masculines uh out of and this is planning i'm not feeling that this is deception what I'm seeing with this card, if you notice, he's breaking down the old world and he's taking the hell off and planning. So it may look deceptive to karmic energies, but it's not for him. He's planning and he's being offered a way to escape is what I'm getting from the old world to move into the new world. And we have the King of Swords not allowing. I love the King of Swords because um, when he's upright, because he's very direct, it's very Aquarius energy. So if you have Aquarius in your chart. Um, but there's very direct communication. His heart and his head is aligned and nothing can get past that. So what I'm getting here is they're celebrating this victory here. They're staying still in the midst of their darkness. It's very important for Divine Masculines to realize how to do that. Um, because if they don't, then they really um, miss out. Um, so I'm just trying to fix the table. They really miss out on... Um, on their power to be able to hold this light in the midst of darkness because if they're healers in the new earth they're moving towards helping mother earth helping humanity because we're the parasites humans are the parasites right we're the ones sucking from the earth um to help and if your healers and the people that you work with are not bringing up what's happening on earth you guys we need to start questioning this stuff especially in the new age community we are here to come together as community right we are here to build a new humanity so doing that they have to learn how to stay in this pain they have to learn to stay in this betrayal and they have to bring love to the situation without letting their guard down without being persuaded elsewhere right we have the sun in reverse even though it feels very uncomfortable it's not happy energy um the sun in reverse is really like the moon is how i see it you know the wheel hasn't quite turned yet they have to be able to allow this karmic energy to play out and so they're moving overall energy they're moving to help mama earth pacha mama look at this they're nostalgic about the past 
that they want to return the world in reverse with the Knight of Pentacles. They've been stuck, right? They've been stuck for a long time about their path, about how to help, how to move forward. They've been seeing, especially with COVID, has opened up everybody, right? Um, knowing that they have to return now and they're nostalgic about the past. So this is the energy where the masculine is at right now. It's really beautiful. Let's take a look. Um, I'm going to pull and see what is going on with the karmic energies that are keeping this connection in a state of separation right now and the healing energies that are currently um, playing out. Let's take a look of what's going on with the car. If you're dealing with a karmic energy, let's take a look. Spirit's pulling me to this deck. <clears throat> this is karmic energy. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with the connection too. And then at the end, I'm going to pull a card, uh, three cards. So stay tuned right to the end. I'm going to pull a card for a yes or no. And uh, you can ask three questions and have one for each card. You can ask just one question and just pick a card. So make sure you stay with that. If you're liking this reading so far and it's resonating, please hit that like button and subscribe, guys. It really helps me to grow. Um, soon, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing these readings outside in a tropical country. So you'll be able to see that it'll be a different atmosphere all right what is going on with karmic energies right now spirit they want me to pull we're going to pull it a little bit differently today <clears throat> friction Ooh, well yeah we know that's happening discernment <coughs> space they're wow look at this this magnetism of this connection is something this karmic energy cannot handle okay it's causing a lot of issues it's created a lot of space in their connection with divine masculine we have ready but waiting okay they know something is happening here all right uh, discernment very surface level right that's where karmics operate see how the masculine is going deeper is what I'm seeing this karmic is still at the surface okay they haven't grown um, repetition they keep repeating the same patterns over and over. They've gained clarity about this magnetism. So this karmic energy has somewhat of a knowing here of what is happening with the uh, Divine Masculine. Knows that this is probably a calling. This is something that he's not standing down on. I feel things have been revealed. We're going to take a look a little deeper. Uh, it's causing a lot of friction in, her, in the karmic energy's headspace. They're ready, but they're waiting because there's an offer here. I feel these karmic energies know about divine feminine. Okay, I feel they they know what's happening this week. They know the ma it's over with the masculine. They know that this masculine's gone deeper. They've done a lot more healing. There's a lot of discernment here. Uh, they know that they keep repeating the same pattern, so they have to create this space. And they're starting to gain a better understanding of what has happened in their connection. So. This is actually igniting something in these karmic energies to find their own happiness, you know, to find this kind of love. This kind of love does exist. If anything, this uh, energy has motivated uh, these karmics to maybe seek something more uh, within themselves. We're going to take a look here and get four cards. Okay, thank you, spirit. <clears throat> look at this happy ending. Okay, with that magnetism that's happening, forgiveness. They're really, I'm feeling that with this karmic energy. They're really learning how to forgive here. Okay, they know that it has come to a close, guys. Yeah, they're learn, seeing the synchronicity. They're learning discernment. They know that this has been a surface level connection. And they're trying to gain their own individuality. Um, they're trying to really be ready so that when the masculine does give this towards the divine feminine, they're not going to freak out, right? They're trying to balance out a little bit. This was kind of popping out, so let's see what this is. They're trying to hold a place of compassion. So, I mean, I think that's beautiful. I think that's awesome. I think it's very much needed. I'm going to use this deck for the Karmic Energies Tarot. Let's take a look. What is going on with the Karmic Energy towards the Divine Masculine in this situation here, Spirit? I mean... It is, it, yeah, it's, it's good. They're, they're trying to really, um, forgive this repetition. I feel it's been a back and forth for a while. You know, they've been trying to fight. They've been trying to hang on. I think they're really giving up because 
you can't fight God, right? You can't fight spirit. You just can't. It's, it's such a tiring journey to try and fight. And Divine Feminines, you guys have learned that because you've had to learn how to, you know, learn how to surrender this to spirit that we have no control over it, right? It's up to spirit. Let's take a look here at ready but waiting for the karmic energies. What are they waiting for spirit in regards to an offer? Yeah, look at this. The father energy. The masculine energy to, you know, um... What card is this? Hold on. This is the five of wands. So this is, they want to stop fighting with the masculine energy. Okay. They don't want to fight anymore. Okay. They've learned their lessons. They're done their training. This is an evolution process. Now these karmic energies are going to go into an integration process and in how to heal themselves. They have to look at their own individuality. They have to see where their own mental anguish and old thought patterns you know, we're affecting them and that they want to be ready, <laughs> but wait, let me clarify that ready, but waiting. Yeah, a sec. I was not ready for waiting. It's, I, I almost feel this card is about <coughs> this offer, this offer of love. I see this as mother earth, you know, um, ready to offer <coughs> and give something. And I, I, I want to know why the karmic is ready, but waiting though. I'll take the one that flipped. Six of Wands. They want to win. It's victory. What is this? What are they? What are they waiting for? Victory. Seven of. They're waiting for their investment. There may be something financial that's happening here. That they're waiting for the masculine to offer them something financial. They're waiting for the masculine to do something. They're not fighting anymore with the friction. So they want something from the divine masculine of something of their own investment that they've given. There might be financial issues that are causing um, something here. Let's take a look. I want to pull another set of cards here because I'm feeling... Da, 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 da. There's something financial. Where is that deck? Maybe that deck wasn't meant to be here. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Yeah, I wanted the Kipper deck. Um, there's something financial is what I'm feeling. Let's take a look. What, what is this uh, karmic energy? They're really waiting here. Um, that they want to become victorious in through for all of their hard work and their investment. They expect something. I feel like they want some payout. So they don't want to cause friction. They don't want to cause issues, but what is this energy spirit that they're ready but waiting? They're holding something back before this offer of love can come to the Divine Feminine. There's a, a stagnant energy because they expect something. Pay out from a marriage. Some of them could have been married, right? About their family. Okay, so they're waiting for something. It's causing a lot of bad health here. Uh, about the family maybe that they've created, the foundation that they may have created. Yeah, it's something legal here, guys. So there's something happening that they're waiting for uh, something here. Uh, and it's holding the energy back. This masculine may have to give up. We'll we'll take a look and see the masculine's response. Let's actually do that now. Yeah, let's do that now, Spirit. Let's see. Let's use this deck. Let's see what the masculine's response is to this financial issue, Spirit. What is this karmic energy waiting for to be ready but waiting for a return of investment is what I'm seeing uh, that they want for what they've invested. Uh, it was always about money, wasn't it? Wasn't it? It was always about the money, right? Well, it was really about the money. They want to stop fighting. It's causing a lot of friction. So it's almost like they feel like it's due, it's owed to them, right? You owe me this. Because you want to go and do this now. And we bought a house and you owe it to me now. So let's take a look. What is this karmic? How, what is the masculine sorry, response to the karmic about waiting for some kind of offer? He's, he's not talking to the karmic. Because it's never going to heal. Because they want to move towards a new love. What is this not communicating with the karmic about what? They're not starting a new path. They're not taking a leap of faith. They're, the betrayal is happening, guys. It's heavy, heavy energy. Okay. What are the... They're 
they're not doing anything it's causing too much instability for this masculine so what is the courthouse decision what is this money situation spirit the masculine's wishes will come true this masculine knows that this karmic can't get anything so whatever the situation is this masculine's holding out for spirit to clean it up before they can move towards this new love so this karmic is trying to trying to stop the friction but saying well you pay me out now and um it's causing a lot of issues but the masculine is uh i'm not talking and not communicating with this this karmic energy okay so there's something happening there financially they're in their head about it. it's causing a lot of friction for them but they're waiting for a return on their investment. That's what I'm getting. So this karmic energy is being very surface. There's a lot of synchronicities happening that has put them into a place of understanding what this connection is. So they, these karmics have been made aware in their heart of where the disconnection is. Spirit has given them signs, okay, about what's happened. And um, <laughs> a lot of up down, yeah. Oh, wow. This is the queen of fire, the karmic energy, the emotions, and the intellect. They're not lined up here, guys. <clears throat> They're completely upset. They are completely in narcissistic mode. This is their youth. They're, they know that they have to mature. So they're trying to put an ending to their immaturity. But they're and still trying to use a bit of their sensuality here. Um, to, it's very surface what they're doing. I, I'm seeing this is the karmic and this is the masculine here. If you look at this card, he's gone way deeper. So he's not even, I don't even think he's paying any mind to this karmic energy. And this discernment, this understanding, it's a judgment call that's coming from spirit for them to grow up and their youthful ways and their immaturity. Um, and it's causing a whole lot of deep emotional and mental issues for this karmic. But they're seeing the synchronicities that are, ha they can't deny what's happening. God is trying to bring these twins together. And so this karmic energy is, is starting to see the synchronicity. What are the synchronicities that this karmic is seeing, please, spirit? Wow, they're trying, they, the union in reverse is not with them, it's with somebody else. The union card in reverse, that they see the synchronicity, that this is not for them. Okay, so why, <coughs> wow, so they know that this isn't for them, and so how are they feeling about, they want to, yeah, the hero in reverse, so they can't save this situation at all. They know it's completely done. So they, they have, they're forced into forgiveness, okay? They're forced to pull back and create space. They're forced to look at the repetitive patterns because this mask is not communicating anymore. And even if they're living in the same house, I'm, see, I'm seeing one's living in the basement, one's living upstairs. They're not talking to each other or it's very, you know, surface talk like, yes, yes, I'll make that payment. Yeah, I'm talking to the lawyer today, yeah that kind of energy okay this karmic energy is uh three of swords here very painful energy working through their forgiveness and trying to delay an ending so they're trying to how are they trying to delay ending this is their action right now so <clears throat> by ignoring the masculine not talking to them trying to pull so this is what i'm getting they're not using their intuition here and they're they're very narcissistic right now. They're trying to delay an ending by kind of giving the silent treatment as well. They're kind of going because this masculine is now not talking. <coughs> so they were trying to offer whatever. Now they're not talking. They're playing games. They're playing games. Let me see what this blocked energy. What is this delay with the blocked energy not communicating a delay and ending? It's almost like the masculine may be trying to get um yeah, they're juggling two of pentacles. Uh, they're debating, right? This masculine may be trying to get some information. Let's see what they're juggling. What's this karmic? It's okay. Thank you. Spirit is saying they're trying to get some information. They're, they're trying to, um, thank you. Spirit is saying the masculine because he's unstable. The only communications coming forward is about like money or is about the finances is about clearing this up. And the karmic is choosing what to communicate because they're trying to delay an ending. That's what I'm getting. So they're not purposely you know, talking about how the process and the next steps to end this. They're trying to come to a place of forgiveness. So they're trying to, they're so heartbroken. They're trying to juggle. And I feel like seduce or find other ways to try and fix this. So let's take a look. What is this karmic energy overall doing in their actions? Huh. Yeah. Great fortune, abundance, the mature man. So they know that this masculine wants something greater in his life and they are the false person in this connection. And so what are they doing with delaying? 
They know that it's going to happen in the future, this path. So they're trying to delay it, okay? What are they trying to delay here, Spirit? Yeah, the Spirit wants her to pull this card. So what are they trying to delay with the Divine Masculine here? Why are they blocking communication when finances come up and that talk and all that stuff? And they're juggling back and forth. They're weighing their options. They're trying to play their cards right. This, this karmic energy is very aware of what they're doing. They're trying to play massive games with head and heart alignment, okay? But this Masculine is on to it. We'll see what the Masculine um, says about this. But this Masculine energy right now... Um, what is this card? Yeah, well, this masculine energy right now is not stable in this and is trying to work things up. This karmic is making it very difficult. What is this uh, karmic energy? Why are they trying to delay this and being selective in their communication? What is this? Because they're not enough. They don't feel good enough and they're trying to chase the masculine because they know that if this ends, there will not be a second chance. So... <laughs> Let's see how the masculine's responding to these games. That's what they're actioning right now. They're trying to delay this so this path doesn't open till way down in the future. They're trying to get as much great fortune and money out of this man as much as possible. What is going on? The masculine's holding strong, guys. What is the masculine's response to this, to the karmic energy? I'm holding strong. I'm holding strong. I'm ending the relationship. I missed too many opportunities dealing with you. It's over. They are not allowing this to uh, dishearten them, okay? They are leaving. And so what is Masculine going to do about the finances here, Spirit? Because the karmic is purposely not talking to them about the finances. He's going to make an offer to the karmic energy to uh, end this contract so he can be with his divine feminine. Look at this. We have counterparts here, okay? He's ending the car for his divine feminine. He's unstable right now because of the finances that's happening, right? So this, uh, <laughs> if he wants it for his feminine, he's willing to lose the money. He's like, whatever. If that's what it's going to come to down to, spirit is going to guide this and I'm not going to worry about it. So bye, karmic. <laughs> so this happy ending, they know. They're trying to come into, they're trying to gain clarity. They know that the magnetism and the clarity is happening. They know that this ending is happening. The mass one's very happy about this ending and the karmic energy is eight of wands knowing that they're gonna have to move forward the ten of cups in reverse they're not the ten of cups guys you know what is this happy ending like are they really happy what is this happy ending their happy ending is the ace of swords in reverse they're not talking they're blocked um it may be a happy ending for the masculine energy to finally be out of this situation we have they don't have faith in anything this has broken them and they're ending their entrapment they know they're trying to bleed what are, that's the spirit is saying they're trying to uh, bleed something out of a stone do you guys know that saying you know what i'm saying right you can't get blood out of a stone that's what they're trying to do right now and this masculine's fed up and they're like whatever i'm just gonna leave and take the loss that's what they're doing because they have faith that it's gonna happen for them anyways let's see what this masculine's response is about um this happy ending what is the masculine's response about this happy ending that's happening look at this they're ending their conflict they're learning their lessons for a higher level of marriage and commitment they're perse persevering towards that kind of commitment clarify that commitment spirit clarify that commitment here yeah they're abandoning they've learned their lessons of abandonment so they're moving and persevering and being really honest with themselves seven of swords in reverse guys so and what are they being honest about, Spirit? Their pain. Their pain of this situation. They're really getting honest about this pain that this karmic has really caused in their life. Queen of Wands in reverse again. We have it right here. Using sexuality, using all of those things to allure, right? They're seeing the pain that this has caused. This another karmic energy. They're blocked attention uh, um, and communication their their games that they play they play a lot of games guys that this isn't their fate this is karmic wow this is not their path right this is this is um knows that they have to make a decision for karmic justice wow wow wow, wow. all right let me clean this up and we're going to take a look at what's going on with masculine towards the divine feminine just give me a sec 
Okay, guys, I'm back. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with the masculine towards the feminine energy now. So if you guys are still around, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's take a look if everyone's being safe. I hope everyone is doing their healing work and send you guys so much love. Let's take a look. What is going on? This is my deck, the Cosmic Tarot. They're not for sale yet, but they will be. I'm trying to get organized in my life. It's been so difficult to balance everything. Let's take a look. What is going on with the Divine Masculine towards the Divine Feminine and the Collective right now? Spirit, what is happening here? Thank you for Divine Masculine towards the Feminine Energies. We're going to take from the bottom and let's take a look, guys. We have, look at this. King of Pentacles. So he's in reverse with the karmic energy. We just saw that. He is getting balanced, financially stable for his divine feminine. He's having a lot of regrets about his divine feminine, a lot about the loss of what he's leaving behind, but he's being very honest with himself, okay? We also have the Hierophant in reverse that he's ending a commitment. So there is something definitely happening in these energies. I have to take off my glasses here. Um, Let's take a look here. We have, oh my God, synchronicity. Look at this. Didn't we see that earlier? King of Pentacles. He is, he will just pay off the karmic. He will lose the money for his divine feminine. He wants this. That's what it is. When you are connected at the soul, you are made together. That's who you are. It doesn't matter. You know, that's just it. That's pure love. That's pure love, baby. That's pure love. Ten of Swords in reverse. He wants to clean up this betrayal, okay? He doesn't want to give to what he's lost already anymore. He's really ready to take action on this, you guys. Look at this. He has looking at the Divine Feminine, revealing that that is his woman. Look at that. Damn, this is beautiful. Knowing that this is his empress. This is his goddess. This is who's going to help create the new earth with him. This is where they're going to heal humanity. This is where they're going to come build community. This is where they're going to uh, have mission together. This is where they're going to help people with COVID. You know, whatever the calling is, it's a high calling for humanity because look at the state of the world. This divine love is needed, you guys, okay? They are realizing, wow. They are about to rise. Look at this. The emperor in reverse. They know they have to become the stable force for divine feminine. We have the emperor and the empress. They're letting go of control towards their divine feminine. They know in this headspace that they have to end the toxicity so that this masculine can rise. Yes, bruh. Yes, bro. I was just thinking that the other day. I was like, when did my kids, sorry, I don't know why this is coming. When did my kids go from calling me mommy to mom to bruh? Because <laughs> my son just called me bruh. So I'm like, oh, yes, bruh. Um, this is, and look at this, ending contracts, right? We saw that earlier. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Ending karmic contracts. Ending any, like, team building that he was working in before. <clears throat> ending this toxicity. So that he can rise to be there for the divine feminine. And in his heart, he wants to clean up the betrayal that's happened. He's having a lot of remorse. But look, let's say to the divine feminine, the divine feminine to the masculine, there's no remorse, baby. Come, get in your boat. This is, I love this, this card when I created this. It's like, get in your boat. Let's go. Let's move on to calmer waters. It's this, I made it empty. <coughs> because when you move to new land, it's all new opportunity. We don't need to take anything from our past. Let's just move on. This is cleaning this up here he wants to do this for his divine feminine he's gaining the courage to start doing that for his divine feminine he wants to be that masculine energy that he came here to be because this is his ten of cups yes brah well, i don't know where that's coming from but it's like 10 10 ending of cycles and he's been waiting to do this he wants to invest in this okay definitely wants to invest clarify the seven of Pentacles wants to invest. He's been at a crossroads for a while and waiting, this waiting energy. He's ready to leave this waiting energy behind, right, Spirit? He's, he's ready to leave that waiting crossroads energy behind. Yeah, and persevere as I'm saying that. See what came out? Synchronous in the city's persevering. 
through that waiting energy, not taking action, he knows he has to persevere through it. He's not giving to anything that makes him feel like crap, where he's looking at the past and what he's lost. He's not giving to that energy. He's going to stop fighting it. He's like, that just keeps me in a low energy. Yes, in the divine masculine, you got to focus on the light. You got to focus on the new path. Stop fighting. Yeah, see, no more juggling anymore. That's exactly what I'm feeling. This mask is like, if I focus on the karmic energies, if I focus on what I'm losing, then that is exactly what I'm going to manifest. I need to move towards the star. I need to move towards my divine feminine. I need to move towards destiny because that is fate. Look at that. And this divine feminine, he's revealing. He's revealing to everybody. I feel this masculine is talking to people about it, saying, I'm seeing clearly that this is my this is my person. I don't want it to end with my divine feminine. I don't want it. This masculine is afraid. He's persevering and standing his ground because he's feeling that he's about to lose this divine feminine, right? Remember, guys, if these masculines don't wake up and the divine feminine is ready, look at this three of cups on the bottom, union, right? If these divine masculines you have free will if they choose not to do it spirit's going to bring someone who can do mission with you i've been feeling that i know when i get to guyana i'm going in two weeks i need some reinforcement i can feel it do i want that no i want my divine masculine of course that's who god made me for but i mean if they don't wake up you guys like this is this is what's going to happen so this is pushing divine masculine to reunion they don't want it to end they see it clearly they want their divine feminine all right and they're going to persevere it they're going to, they're slowly moving through their burdens and their responsibilities to come to the divine feminine. And however they come, I feel these masters are just going to come and they want to get on this spiritual path and offer something very passionate. Wow. Let's get some oracles out, guys. Let's see some oracles here. I feel like some moonology. Let's take a look. What are these masters feeling towards the divine feminine here, spirit? What are these masters feeling towards the divine feminine? really beautiful energies this week guys really beautiful energies this week let's take a look what is going on this was such a clear message this just came out super clear wow i'm really impressed my reading my readings are changing too i can feel it what's going on with divine masculine towards the feminine in her spirit can we please get some cards what is divine masculine feeling towards divine feminine right now what yeah thank you all right the answers you need are coming, all right? Hold your vision. They're holding their vision. Luck is on your side. This masculine knows, okay? Luck is on his side. He's pointing that arrow and taking taking his shot, holding his vision. That's why he's not focusing here, right? That's why we got this message. Not focusing on the past, not fighting it, not doing anything, not giving energy to that, moving towards divine feminine, holding vision, and the answers you need are coming. I also am getting pulled to some romance angels. Oh, yeah, let's do that, Spirit. Okay, so Spirit's saying we're going to do a whole comparison thing right now. <coughs> this is going to be fun. I do this sometimes with my own twin. <laughs> I do it every now and then. I don't read every day for my twin, but... Every now and then when I feel a shift, I'm like, the psalm thing's happening. Let's take a look. Spirit says we're going to do a comparison between masculine energy towards divine feminine and towards <laughs> the karmic, okay? So let's take a look. Let's take a look. Spirit, what's going on with divine masculine right now? I need a sip of water. Just give me a sec. What is going on? With divine masculine energy and in, in whole totality of everything, totality, and how is it towards the karmic? Thank you. Any karmic energies. Thank you. Let's take a look. What is, sorry if you hear my kids, guys, they're in, supposed to be in school. Oh, sorry, school just ended, so he's probably gaming, so I'm sorry if you hear this. What is going on with divine masculine energy towards the feminine? What does he think about the feminine in this current who, for the viewer, as they're watching in this present moment, because these are timeless, let go of control. What does the masculine think of the karmic energy? He needs, wow, okay. <sighs> he knows this is all what he's thinking about, about karmic. He needs to love himself first. He deserves love, and he knows that this could be the one. He knows who's the one is, okay? It's not this karmic energy, okay? He knows from this karmic who the one is. He knows he has to let go of control of his mind here. What does he feel towards the divine feminine? What does the masculine feel? Wow, guys, that's my soulmate. 
<coughs> what does he feel towards the karmic? He has romantic feelings, okay? It's not like there, there, there's no love here, right? And you just got to know um, the connection of who God made you for, right? What is his intention towards the feminine right now, spirit? Well, we got two. Wants to make the effort to release the X, okay? So they're making that effort, guys. What is going on with intentions towards the karmic? Actions towards the karmic? <clears throat> This new love. So they're letting go because they know it's the new love with the divine feminine. And what is the outcome for divine <coughs> masculine towards the feminine? What does he want the outcome to be? Trust. And towards the karmic, it's unrequited love. Can't make that up, guys. You saw the cards right here on my channel. You may want to subscribe now. <laughs> <coughs> Let's pull some more cards. So look at this. The headspace, okay? This is headspace, heart space, intentions, outcome, okay? Headspace, letting go of control. Knowing that they can't do this anymore, right? Headspace towards the karmic. Loving themselves first. Knowing they deserve love. Knowing who the one is. They're, this could be the one. Knowing that that's the feminine energy. It's also, I'll clarify this card individually too for you guys so you can see the cards that come out. Here, soulmate energy, okay? Knowing that this is your soulmate, they feel it. Knowing in the actions that they're going to release their ex and make the effort for this new love that's happening here in regards to the karmic energy. They're trusting the situation. They know this is unrequited love. They can't get what they need from this karmic energy any longer. Wow. And it's matching the uh, channel teachings from today, guys. You may want to go listen to that today, too. And stay tuned because later on this evening, I am going to do a nighttime read, okay? I don't know if I'm going to go live or not or I'm going to record it. I have to figure out dinner for the kids and all that. So I'm trying to clean up my fridge and do all this other stuff, too. So just bear with me. Um, I'm over my head and everything. So I will be getting out the Scorpio read tonight, too. Okay, so let's take a look here. So masculine is letting go of control with the feminine energy spirit because they want this abundance here, okay? They know that she's abundant. And do masculine towards the karmic energies, they know that they were seduced, okay? Clarify this could be the one card, just that one. What is this with the masculine? This could be the one. So the spirit saying they were seduced into thinking that they're moving on with friends, that this was a soulmate connection. They were seduced. That this was the one, but they're moving on now from this soulmate connection. Okay, do you see that? <coughs> they know in their heart who their soulmate is. Clarify this divine masculine towards the feminine and their feeling towards the feminine. Okay, they they know that they broke, they had a this created separation. They know that they sabotaged this connection in their heart, okay? And they know because of the romantic feelings for the karmic energy was a snake. Look at this guy. I can't make that up. All right, I ain't gonna pull tarot on it either because it's, I mean, it's blatant as day. They knew the story is playing out here. They have to let control of their head, okay? They know that there's this feminine was abundant, but they, they created separation and broke up and sabotaged this because they were seduced. They didn't love themselves. They didn't think they deserved this love, right? And what happened is they were seduced into thinking that this karmic was the one. It wasn't the one. They know who the one is now and realizing that, uh, this soulmate connection, they have to move on. They've been spending time with friends. They've been having fun. They know that the romantic feelings was, you know, <laughs> the snake, competition, clever, malicious, overlooking your shoulder. This is, the, this is the karmic energy. They're karmic. So, yeah, they know that these romantic feelings were just derived. And these masculines are sensitive too, right? Go listen to that last teaching I did today. It'll explain that. So, they know they need to, they're making the effort for Divine Feminine to release their ex. Oh, look at this, missing you, unconditionally loving the Divine Feminine. They're making, they want their Divine Feminine. They don't want separation anymore, guys, okay? They know this new love. Clarify this towards the karmic energies. They are awakened to this new vibration of love and they're trusting this situation with Divine Feminine. They know that they stabbed, the, stabbed her in the back. Clarify that one more time that in the past, okay, uh, looking at photos, missing the divine feminine, realizing I stabbed you in the back and I'm going to trust that, you know, this is going to happen. And they acted maybe like a narcissist here towards you or, you know, just wasn't nice. So they're going to trust 
give me one more but why are they trusting that they they're watching you so they're trying to trust this this situation and gain trust here to move forward they know that this is unrequited love with the karmic energy okay so they need time to heal this so they they are really trying to trust the situation they feel really bad and regretful they're not trying to focus on that they know they want to move forward overall how is the masculine feeling towards the feminine right now they want an engagement ring and overall how are they feeling towards karmic energies they were wearing a mask look at that guys god talking through my hands talking through my hands that's how it's supposed to be my readings have been getting dead on guys so i'm going to be opening up once i'm in in diana i'm going to be opening up some readings so if you do want a reading come in and for my members i know i've missed the last two i've been not feeling great at night and doing those calls i'm going to be giving free readings for my membership to free reading so uh, i'm going to be posting that later on today or tomorrow on how to do that so just so you know for my members and my soul tribe membership i'm giving you uh because in the last month i've been sick with covid and i haven't been there i will be giving all my members uh two either two 30 minute readings or one hour free reading okay which is like 111 u dollars us okay so it should uh replace the last month's membership because i just i've been sick and overwhelmed Whew, it's hard balancing everything, guys. Okay, let's take a look at some advice for divine feminine energies. What else do you want me to do, Spirit? Okay, we're going to do the three cards. Okay, thank you. That's what we're going to do right now. Let's get some advice for divine feminine energies. Spirit wants me to do that first, and then think of your question. All right, guys, if you like this reading, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment. I want to hear everything. I love reading your comments. I love it. Let's take a look. What is going on? Some uh, some messages for Divine Feminine from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for the Divine Feminine. So uh, how are you leading them this week, Spirit? What advice would you like the Divine Feminines to take here? Okay, we'll get some advice for the Masculines, too, if there are Masculines watching. But everyone on my channel, <laughs> it's a Divine Feminine. It's kind of where I resonate. So let's see. We'll get a card for Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What are some healing energies and messages for Divine Feminine? Look at this. <clears throat> star brothers Horus energy protection loyalty safety trust this is the masculine energy coming towards you okay you will be protected divine feminine i just talked about this in the channel teachings go listen to it please um it talks about how masculines protect their feminines this is Horus energy they will protect the divine feminine it's coming towards you earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning so divine feminines you have been working on yourself you have been learning the masculine feels it you have been cracked open you've hit rock bottom you've surrendered to the alchemy of life mars energy anchor conflict softening to love the great servicing so spirit really wants you to fall deeper into your forgiveness okay if you're having anger so you know how most of us move on from relationships and from hurt and pain is a justification in, in the energy of anger. I didn't deserve that. That wasn't worth it. That's still a lower vibration of consciousness. We come into a place of divine love and trusting in the spirit. That's why you've been cracked open, right, divine feminine, to come deeper, you know, um, to soften into the love, into further forgiving. To learn continue learning this week divine feminine okay your masculine hears you your masculine is wanting to come to protect you in the energy they want they want this union as much as you do so spirit is saying divine feminine what you need to do now is just fall deeper out of this anger conflict if you're feeling any anger get it out release it bring spirit into it through prayer Humble yourself to spirit, right? The creator, speak to your creator. Don't speak to, talk to your creator. Form a strong bond with mother earth and your creator, you know? You don't need spirit guides. You don't need any, you don't need any of that. It's just you and the creator, you and mother. And you get deep into that softening place of trusting your path and letting go and forgiveness and a deep place of love. Let's see what's going on for divine masculine energies that can help your masculine energies on the inside too, spirit. What messages do you have here? Some healing messages for divine masculine. Ooh. One more. Okay, these are coming out together. We have the void. Stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. This is the mother energy. This is feminine energy. Keep feeling divine feminine energy here, masculine. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. 
Divine Masculine keeps surrendering that ego, keeps surrendering the control, okay? I remember soul plan, the faded life versus the destiny. Like, you guys, I have a teaching on this too. You may want to go and listen to those teachings, especially if you're new to my channel. Go re-listen, even if you listen to it. This is a sign. It's about knowing your destined life, what you put into your path. That's destiny that you want to experience. And that includes karmic situations, Divine Masculine. And then also, it's like um, the fated life is your agreement with God. Your agreement with Spirit. Nobody can take that away, right? And Divine Masculine, this is the lost land. Soul memory gifts. You've done this before, okay? Awaken to yourself, longing for home, homesick for the stars. You are such beautiful beings, divine masculine. Fall deeper into the womb of the mother. Surrender everything. Know that the power of the universe is with you. Know that nothing that is meant for you will ever be lost. And just have faith that as you just surrender, spirit's going to pick that up and is going to manifest because this is your contract with God. This is your faded, your, your faded path, destined path, um, yeah, it's your soul plan. It's about coming into closer union with spirit. All right, guys, let's take a look. I'm going to create three piles here. Think of your question, okay? I'm going to put messages of your of uh, in into this as well. So, um, yeah. So let's just shuffle. You may want to fast forward this, but I am feeling um, a few sets of cards here. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm just going to pick pile number one. All right. We're going to give you a message as well. Pile number two. Now you can pick three different questions if you want. So um, they'll resonate with everyone. You can think of three different questions for pile one, two, and three, or you can think of one question and pick a pile. All right. So spirit, can we please have pile number one? Can we have a message? Pile number two and pile number three. Thank you. Okay, I want you guys to see me shuffling on camera so you can know the energies. All right, spirit, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three, please. So I'll just let you listen to the nice birds. <laughs> pile number one, please, spirit. Two and three. Pile number one, two, and three. Thank you. Pile number one. Okay, we got pile one, two, and three. All right. <laughs> Let's take a look, guys. So pile number one, let's take a look to your yes and no answer, okay? We have the empress wow and accepting what is i'm getting a definite yes here for spirit for you okay this is you coming into yourself i accept and embrace my inner majesty this is really beautiful because what I, they're pulling me to is you see how this rose with her hands <coughs> look at this diamond gold light that she holds spirit is saying that's the that's the rose you're accepting you're allowing you're being yourself this is also new beginnings springtime this is you falling into your beautiful abundance knowing your place and accepting what is spirit is saying here is your message from your person they are feeling you they are in divine feminine energy it's a definite yes and this is your person and what they want to say to you because they're in a divine feminine energy right now they're feeling you i want it all I don't want to be friends. I am struggling with what I want and what I deserve. It's part of my control issues. I am working on it. So you keep accepting what is divine feminine. You keep being in this energy and this is going to happen. It's a definite yes. Okay. Let's take a look at pile number two. Okay. So we have the empress, the, sorry, the high priestess in reverse. This is actually a good thing. These cards are a little different. When they're white, it's upright. When it's purple, it's in reverse. So there's a revelation of an ancient uh, awakening wisdom that's happening here. Okay, so this is a yes, okay? But I'm getting, it's a yes 
with a patient. It's like things still have to be revealed. The ancient wisdom is being activated. So be patient because it takes time for this high vibration to come in, okay? But it's definitely a yes with patience, okay? This is a message from your from your person and they are sitting in divine feminine energy. They are feeling you. And they're saying, I see you everywhere. So many things remind me of you. So this, <coughs> this masculine is holding some patience. This feminine is holding patience, but a lot of things are starting to unfold. You may be getting a lot of downloads, a lot of inklings. So spirit is like, that's that angel wisdom that's coming. Th things are being revealed to you, okay? So let's take a look at pile number three. We have a yes. All yeses, guys. Strength. Taming your ego so you can cultivate this prosperity. The abundance of the universe is pouring into my life. So spirit is like, this is the king. This is the lion. This is you taming your ego and being able to tame yourself to be able to be one with yourself. And so this is a yes. You are now ready. Spirit says you're in a high place of manifestation in this pile number three. So plant your seeds of intention so that you can come into a place of manifesting. You're ripe. You're ready. So if things aren't happening, Spirit's like it's now the time to cultivate that. Plant those seeds and give those desires to Spirit and keep working on yourself. Okay, Divine Feminine? Your masculine is in their masculine energy and this is their message to you. Please know every night you are my last thought and every morning my waking desire. Wow. So yes, all around you guys, really beautiful. Stay tuned for later on. I'll be doing the full moon and Scorpio tonight because it comes out at 1135, I believe tonight. So I will get the reading up before then. So make sure you hit the subscribe, the notification bell. So much love to you guys and we'll see you soon. Can't wait to see your comments and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.